Put in on a really small, very small creek. Oh, there's a fish. It's near the, it's in and around Yellowstone Park. It, uh, near the Gallatin River. There's a bunch of small, a lot of small creeks running into the Gallatin in and around that area. Um, even though I'll be fishing close to a highway most of the time, this creek will kind of meander off the, the road for quite a bit. Um, and I'm in bear and wolf country, so I got my bear spray with me and my bear bell to make some noise. Hopefully that will warn or let a bear know I'm in the area so I don't startle one. So that's what you have to worry about most is a startling grizzly bear. I have a dry dropper set up. At the size 10 foam hopper. And below it, about 12, 14 inches, let's have a bead head pheasant tail.
man. I don't know if you were able to see that in the, in the video. A fish came up in rows. It didn't look that big. But another fish came rushing down. Maybe he's chasing the dropper. And he turned and saw me and swam off over there. But it was like a, I don't know, 16, maybe 17 inch fish. On second thoughts, I decided to tie an olive matuka, size 10. Fish seem pretty aggressive. Seem to be hitting the nymphs pretty hard. So I think even the little fish, man, they chased us around. I'm hoping to get the bigger fish, the one I just saw a moment ago. There we go. Oh no! Oh no. I saw him. It looked like a 15, 16 inch fish. He was, he hit it almost as soon as it hit the water. Oh man. There's gotta be another one in there. I know one of them swam over here. One of the bigger fish. Kind of stepping on rocks right now. It's not just uh, metal tubing. It's kind of deep in there. It's gonna be a bow and arrow cast. Five X tip it on, and got about a 16 or 18 inch section of solder material. And below that, just about two and a half feet to tip it. Five X, and they got a size 12 rubber legs. It's got a little pink hot spot. And I have a size 18 pheasant tail on the bottom here. And it doesn't tell some variation. I mean, it looks just like a pheasant tail, but I forget the name. It had something like cowboy in it. <laughs> I got it at the Blue Ribbon Fly Shop a while back before fishing in the Firehole River.
gonna call the day. I'm gonna cut the trip a little short. I was planning to fish this section. If I could go for like another half mile, maybe a mile. It kind of loops back and meets up with the road and I was planning to walk back, but I don't see the water kind of developing any deep holes, deep runs. Everything still looks kind of shallow. And I think I'll just end up catching a bunch of four or five inch fish. <laughs> So, I'm gonna head back. Plus, I don't wanna walk through an area like this alone. All the grizzly bears around. Looks like some decent water, water there, but I don't know. I, I don't think the fish are gonna get any bigger. It's too bad that that one fish I missed on the streamer um, underneath that little tunnel going underneath the highway that would have kind of made the trip looks about 15 16 inches i think it was a cutthroat i'm not sure i wasn't going to say the name of the creek just because you don't hear much about this creek at all but since the fishing was not very good in terms of fish size, I, I, doubt, I doubt anyone's gonna come and fish this after watching this video. This was Grayling Creek. I bet most of you that fish this area probably guessed that right away. But, um, it's technically in Yellowstone Park, although it's it's right on the edge. So I'm fishing in Yellowstone. But not quite in the park. Like you don't you don't have to pay any fees when you there's no gate when you drive through this part of the, the park. It just if you look on the map, Highway 191 just kind of briefly runs into the park. So uh, very outskirts. I was almost tempted to go and fish the Gallatin River, but I got to be careful with my my foot. I got a I got a case of plantar fasciitis. In my right foot. Although it's much better, I can walk without pain. I don't want to kind of re-injure it. About a, about a week I had to, when I first got it, I had to crawl to the kitchen to make breakfast. The pain was so bad. Don't want to go through that again. It's a Grayling Creek. I'm pretty disappointed. I thought the fish would have been a little bigger. If they were like seven to nine inches, you know, with a couple 10, 12 inches here and there. This would be a great creek, but fish are just too dang small. And I think those two large fish I saw, one I saw, the other I hooked into, it's kind of a fluke. I don't think the rest of the creek really had many of those, that type of fish. I'm back fishing now, so stay tuned. I plan on fishing Big Hole, Yellowstone, uh, some other good creeks that I know have some good fishing in them. Uh, next couple weeks, I'll actually be heading back to Reno in October, so I'll be fishing and filming in Nevada, California once again. But this area is that has a lot of a lot of like wolves and bears, moose. People report seeing a lot of them whenever they whenever they go fishing this creek. I didn't see anything.